I really appreciate the chance to talk about salt palmetto extract and prostate disease. For decades now, I've been in, uh, involved and interested in complementary approaches, uh, vitamins, minerals, supplements, nutraceuticals, herbals, for the treatment of uh, functional diseases in urology, inflammation, pain, urinary tract infection, and prostate disease. Um, one I've become very interested in is the palm, palm, saw palmetto extract, or the extract from the Serona repens plant. This plant grows wild in Florida and South Georgia. It's picked in uh, August to September, and the picking crews follow it from South Florida to North Florida to South Georgia. Uh, when the ripe berries are picked, they're sent immediately to the uh, sorting, cleaning, and drying plant and then subsequently to an extraction plant. And the essential oils and fatty acids are extracted using a carbon dioxide type high pressure uh, system, which extracts the, uh, the product that we want and leaves behind all, all the rest, including any residual. There's no residual because the CO2 just dissipates. So um, we did talk about BPH. I have a presentation which uh, I just presented and might be available um, through this particular meeting. My personal search for the elusive wild, wild saw palmetto berry and the story behind saw palmetto and its management in BPH. I think it's a fascinating uh, story and it gave me a chance to combine my love of motorcycle adventures with my significant clinical research interest in the management of BPH using complementary therapy. So in this particular shorter lecture, we're going to look at the prostatitis story and BPH or and prostate cancer story and any role saw palmetto might have to play. So let's look at um, uh, prostatitis. So prostatitis is really relates to pelvic pain presumed to be in the prostate. We know uh, from the prostate, we know now that in most cases, this is not an infectious disease. Only about 10% is it a bacterial infection that resolved with antibiotics. The other 90% of men who develop chronic prostatitis symptoms, that's pelvic and pelvic floor pain, dysuria or pain in voiding, pain on ejaculation, pain in the testicles, suprapubic area and penis. Men that present with uh, you know, the complex of these symptoms are quite common. In fact, one of the studies that were, were done uh, out of Harvard a number of years ago was in healthcare professionals, uh, doctors, dentists, veterinarians, uh, male nurses, and people that should know what prostatitis is. And it, it came to the conclusion that one in four men will develop symptoms of prostatitis sometime in their lifetime. We followed up with a study uh, locally several de decades ago on a county by county basis. And basically we looked at suburban uh, city and rural uh, areas. And we found that the prevalence of men with at least some prostatitis symptoms was around 9%. It's also like one in 10 patients in the course of a year will have prostatitis-like symptoms. For the most part, they're self-limited. They might last a day, they're nothing of consequence, but about a third of them uh, commented to the family doctor that the symptoms might be bothering them. Those are usually men that had the symptoms for more than three months. And a third of those ended up seeing a urolo urologic uh, specialist. Now, we've learned from a number of studies, and this is just one that I've been involved with, is that um, prostate inf inflammation doesn't predict how severe the symptoms are, but predicts symptom progression in men with a diagnosis of chronic prostatitis and or chronic pelvic pain. This is important to remember when we're start starting to look at nutraceuticals and herbals that are anti-inflammatory. An early study that we did using a, a medication called rofococcin, you may know it as Viox, showed that this anti-inflammatory COX-2 inhibitor significantly reduced compared to placebo, the impact of prostatitis-like symptoms. Shortly thereafter, this particular medication, Viox was taken off the market because of potential long-term side effects. So we never really got the benefit of that. Now we do know that the extract of Serona repens or saw palmetto uh, does have a mitigating or lessening of the uh, prostatic inflammation 
when we look at uh, biopsy studies, in other words, hist histological prostate inflammation is reduced with saw palmetto. A number of studies, particularly animal studies, have shown this. Now, if we look across the board at all the prostatitis uh, studies, when we did this particular uh, systematic review and network meta-analysis, we found that none of the medications worked well in the whole population, but some of the medications worked well in individual patients. There was really, when we did that, we looked at multiple, multiple studies, but there were no good studies on saw palmetto at the time. Um, recently, and this was only a, a number of years ago, uh, it was the published during the COVID period, this a study from Asia showing the, uh, the Saranoropins extract or saw palmetto actually was effective, safe, and clinically superior to placebo for the treatment of chronic prostatitis or chronic pelvic pain sim symptoms. This was very important because it did look like there might be some benefit. Now, what about prostate cancer? Um, saw palmetto extract, herbal therapy for prostate cancer. Do you know, uh, if you look at the science uh, for saw palmetto, this is the ideal candidate to manage prostate uh, cancer. It antagonizes 5-alpha reductase to inhibit intraprostatic dihydrotestosterone production. That should reduce the risk within the prostate of developing a prostate cancer or even treatment of prostate cancer. It inhibits dihydrotestosterone binding to androgen receptors. That should help early prostate cancer. It's anti-inflammatory. And we've come to the realization that inflammation in the prostate as in elsewhere in the body can lead to cancer, and in this case, prostate cancer. We know that patients who are on long-term anti-inflammatories seem to have a protective influence in prostate cancer, as saw palmetto inhibits the expression of COX-2, which is an inflammatory pathway. It inhibits prostate cell growth in the test tube on Petri dishes and in some animal models. It inhibits proliferation and induces apoptosis or death of prostate cells in the epithelium and the stroma, something like we like to see in prostate cancer. It significantly decreases pathological tumor grade and even tumor incidence in a certain high risk mouse prostate cancer, cancer model. And in uh, those mice in another type of model that, that are, are, are uh, stimulated to develop cancer, it inhibits the volume growth of prostate cancer. Well, this is a herbal therapy that if you're trying to design one to be effective in prostate cancer, one would think this would be the case. Well, it didn't turn out to be that way. The first study that came out, well, you know, there's a systemic review all the nutritional studies, it supported that a high phytosteroid uh, uh, diet was inversely related to the risk of prostate cancer. So saw palmetto was one of those phytosterols that were used in that particular study. However, in one of the largest study done, um, it was sort of like a real world uh, study. And this was done in Washington state in the United States. There was no association in 35,000 plus men who are at the age of over 50 who are at risk for prostate cancer between the use of those with saw palmetto and those without and the risk of prostate cancer development. So there was no correlation in prostate cancer development, no correlation with increasing frequency or duration of use of saw palmetto. In fact, it was a completely negative study and it did not seem that men on saw palmetto had a reduced risk of prostate cancer. Now, what about prevention, uh, there's no prospective prevention trials using this herbal therapy. None of note, the ones that were, um, were, were done were poor and you can't interpret them. There are none, no trials looking at saw palmetto treatment of men with prostate cancer. There were two studies that looked at saw palmetto in patients who had radiation therapy for prostate cancer and it had no effect. So unfortunately, this ideal herbal when it goes to the real world clinical studies, it doesn't appear to have any significant benefit. So when we look at saw palmetto extract for prostate disease, we have these type of road signs. For lower urinary tract symptoms related to BPH, it appears that it might benefit some men 
with low to moderate symptoms who are using it instead of watchful waiting. In prostatitis patients, there appears to be uh, enough evidence out there that it possibly could have a role patients with prostatitis. And because it's safe, it, there's probably no harm in trying. As far as prostate cancer is concerned, there is no good evidence except for theoretical that it has any benefit in the prevention, uh, treatment or management of prostate cancer.